That's the message from SAMDA. The organization says it has a list of all the 49 companies listed on the JSC that are involved in transfer pricing. And once we are there with our partners, I'm personally prepared to expose what they're doing. But if I do it on my own and they're not here and the confidentiality is not lifted, I'm going to be sued. But bring them here and bring me here and let us expose them once and for all. While transfer pricing is not illegal, it does erode the tax base of South Africa. MPs are now calling for this practice to be outlawed. So I was going to propose that perhaps this committee um, takes those proposals from the minister um, as interim measures in the process to have a fully blooded um, legislation on transfer pricing. We need to, for this purpose of enforcing local beneficiation and industrialization, we need to pass a coherent and clearly articulated legislation on transfer pricing, forbidding such practice. Samda says in the platinum sector alone, transfer pricing could be as high as 2.4 billion rand annually. In the coal sector, it's estimated at 3 billion rand a year. The legislation, as Ms. Khadebe pointed out, is not being applied. I mean, that one sentence in the NPRDA about somebody who wants to uh, externalize must get permission from the minister. No, not one company has done that. Each and every company of those 49 listed companies that is in front of you, start there. Each and every one, check who have they sold their mineral to. I think you must bring them here. We will list them ourselves. We are protected by all the laws here. We'll give a list of those people publicly and then we'll organize marches, especially to the, the ones that are highly involved in the transfer pricing. Samda has reiterated that government must implement remedial action against companies who have failed to meet the ownership and transformation mining charter targets by May this year. The organization says the ownership value was meant to be over 600 billion rand, but it was standing at 62 billion rand. Ulilani Philip, SABC News, Parliament.